Welcome to how to build giant and roll mega in Minecraft. Uh, now, this isn't actually a mega base, just to be clear. It's just a mega build. It's a single build that you could add in that just ups the scale of how you're building in Minecraft. It's something that in incorporates a lot of the ideas of building large and the ideas of repetition, how to be able to make a good structure and foundation to your builds, to be able to improve them. And that's what we're doing here. So there is four distinct sections here. Two of them are nine by nines. The other two are nine by fives. Um, where the logs are, I do believe, not like the interiors of them. Um, all the posts are two by twos, and we have these little like decorative little dark oak little pillar things that are adding a little bit of detail and stuff like that where the posts are. I just wanted that down so I was able to get an idea of where everything was. I did want to say though, as we're getting into this, I also did a challenge with this one a little bit. Dark oak, I, like I like dark oak. Like I, I like dark oak. It's not my favorite log, but like it's good. I don't use jungle. And I very rarely have had the opportunity to use prismarines. I've just never made a guardian farm, so I've never gotten to do it in survival. And I kind of realized I don't take the opportunity too much, and I never use jungle. So what if I try to combine those three? And that's kind of where the inspiration for this idea kind of came from, along with looking up a couple of photos and stuff like that for me to get some inspiration flowing and stuff like that. So, yeah, stuff like that, stuff like that. Um, I could probably say it a couple more times, but I'll bury you that uh, for a little bit. But so what we're doing, we're framing all of it. We have all the logs going across are on the interiors unless it's kind of like a double wall then it's double ah ah makes sense ah yeah so we're getting this in we're figuring out the roofs and stuff like that and it's just a lot of fun it's just really good we're gonna let this go because it was confusing for a little bit i'm gonna rant about my day i'm recording this the day before it goes live because i procrastinate dramatically um you ever work for someone that just sucks I was informed that um, I wasn't allowed to punch in for work anymore. Really? I'm just... Like, who does that? Like, they implemented punching in this week before we just put in a time card, and now I'm no longer allowed to punch in. I still have to punch in if I want to get paid, but I'm not allowed to do it anymore. Which, in my mind, I'm like... Am I working for free? It's just weird. But... Yeah, and if you were at last night's Skyrim stream, uh, you got to hear about it, so yeah. But, about the build. This th this roof structure is something I never work with. I never work with rounded roofs. It's something that, like, even though I love spheres and circles, I make them in Minecraft all the time. This, for some reason, broke my brain. I figured out LeChonk, like, two or three weeks ago. This massive giant sphere, like, mathematically, mostly in my head. This, this gave me almost a stroke. It was very painful to figure it out, but we made it out. We figured it out. We did all the different stuff. We have the dark oak trim, then the jungle trim, then the dark prismarine as the actual base of it. And like, look at it. It looks good. I think it's a good shape. We didn't just go with all stairs. We had the full block there, which adds a little bit more of a rounded effect. I think it looks really good. I think it's a gable. I think it is the kind of roof design. I don't know words. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm very dumb and don't know words. I'm just a dumb man from a dumb family, but don't worry, my family's not dumb. They're good people. Uh, this is the exact same thing that I'm building, and you're gonna notice it takes me longer the second time, because I'm a dumb man from a dumb family. Um, my family's not dumb, though. They're good people. Um, and uh, you're also gonna notice me delete, sorry, sorry, misspoke, deplete my builds like the entire way through building the second roof. It's almost embarrassing, but this is how the build process went. Um, but yeah, so, I'm excited about it. I, I really like building large here. So one of the big takeaways you're able to take away. One of the big takeaways you're able to take away. Huh. Would you believe I graduated college in a degree that requires speaking? I wouldn't either. I have a master's in this. Um, <laughs> uh, one of the biggest takeaways is just finding your pattern. Finding your rules. And following them to a T until you need to break them. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm checking the other roof. I'm going back and forth and double checking because following your patterns when it comes to a mega build makes it feel so much more unified. It makes like, if I did this roof as it was like a steep peak or something like that, it would look really dumb at the end, I think. Like, I don't think that could work. You want to prove me wrong? Design your own and show me in my Discord. But like, I really don't think you can make it look good. But also know when to break your build or break your rule, more likely. Deplete your build, break your rules. Simple. This back roof, because it's not a 9x9, nine nine, it's a 9x5, putting this up would look a little funky. 
having to be at an angle so it was still kind of like nine across would mean it's really narrow and having it be the same direction as the top one would be really weird because it's lower so we have a slant roof and we did um this little stair slab combo trick to make it so i believe that's a 22.5 degree angle because i'm a nerd and no angles like that in minecraft hello hi uh, if you also know angles don't worry you're not a nerd you're great you're wonderful and i appreciate you unless you like being a nerd then you're a nerd and that's good I'm happy for you um but yeah so i added that so the rule i broke was the shape of the roof but i also kept the rule of dark oak trim jungle trim dark prismary and i think it looks sick i really like it i think it looks so good another way to break rules inconsistency consistently looks amazing i measured out um the distance there and found that i can put in these three bands equal equidistant between each other and the edges and have it raised up and add this like air quote more structure to it and it looks great it adds so much to this little build air quote little it's hello building giant and mega um but it looks really really good but consistency go back to the other roof add that in and it it looks good it looks good from up above and that's another thing like like obviously if you're in survival you don't go really far you don't get an elytra you don't have to see how your builds look up above but check your builds from every angle it makes a huge difference but consistency now i'm adding in over here because it also works over here the exact same thing three blocks in between each little strip just add in some dark oak i wanted to raise it up but the way stairs work it said no don't worry i'll delete that block later it'll delete the builds don't worry you might notice added in floor it's glorious look at floor it's wonderful now i'm increasing the height here because i wanted to put an outdoor kind of porch up here and i just felt like it made a lot of sense and i felt like it was going to be good so i added this in right here by the way we're not going to do an interior here at all really we're just getting the exterior done so i'm adding in the rest of what this floor would be filling in all of the jungle oak jungle oak jungle oak that's yeah no 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 jungle planks on all the different levels and things like that and i think it looks really really good you might notice underneath this little section right here i don't have that filled in that we're going to put in a little bit of decorative design as the foundation and then it's just going to be open underneath so you can see underneath it i think it looks really good by the way the way it's the stairs there i love i like genuinely i was like this is not gonna work and i tried it i'm like it is awesome i love it i've never done like the staircase like that the handrails like that like like somebody become caveman Ooh, uh, uh, when looking at stair it's awesome um also adding in the supports looks really really good i think having the stair design just makes it so it looks like it's supported but also looks like it's almost like tied together instead um so this is the design we're adding in underneath it's just adding in extra supports going up and down filling in with dark wood dark wood dark wood dark yep i put oak on the jungle but not on the dark oak congratulations somebody you played yourself uh no and then adding in the jungle trap doors specifically where it's like placing the little opens on each side so the little like flaps are top and bottom because i just feel like that looks good J had to move the stairs out like a little bit for it all to work together really well and we just we're adding that in everywhere just just put it in just go consistency it's wonderful and it just makes it look really really good i also put in that little gap like right there right there arrow please don't forget this in editing somebody but yeah so now we're adding all these supports to be able to make it so it look good while building it and i had i just i had to open it up i wanted to put the middle pillar in but it didn't work with the roof the half slab nature of it made it so it wasn't going to be able to work correctly without it getting a little funky weird with the uh ceiling of the roof because it's only half slab thick right there so if i broke the slab then it's just oak dark oak dag nabbit learn wood types sticking out the roof so i need to do it like that and i think it looks really really good the little like h frame style i think it looks amazing we added in all these little dark oak little th yes i sent a block correctly in this video uh poking out where they all meet up where the trusses meet and stuff like that which kind of shows where there'd be extra support now we're adding in the details what we're doing with that is we're adding in some trapdoor based windows with some stairs going to it and then changing these out for all stairs so it kind of has this like jaggedy kind of structure to it in real life would people do that no no but does it look good in minecraft <laughs> yeah maybe I'm, I'm still debating it a little bit you guys let me know what you think i think it looks good i did it all the time when i first started playing minecraft but now that i'm looking back on it i kind of have that moment where i'm like is that good because nostalgia or is it good and there's a difference between the two you know so now i'm filling in all the dark oak up here so we're able to continue doing the same pattern remember follow your rules and then break them repeatedly consistently 
But when we're actually doing the designing here, it is fairly samey just because it's kind of needed for it. And yes, I made sure the roof looked good on the inside there. We're never going to see it. Like, it's not... Like, we didn't do an interior. There's not a single thing inside this build. There's floor. And that's it. There's, there's no reason. No reason at all. Um, but now we're working on this over here. So, we have the windows in. We have the same kind of pattern. But down below, we have the same pattern and the same windows in. <laughs> Sameness. It goes a long way with the build. Because up close like this, it might look a little weird. A little strange. But the thing is, you're doing a big old base far away you're walking up to it you're going to appreciate how the details are consistent through the build it's going to look good we actually we go back and add more to it that's not how we just leave it by the way i don't think i mentioned i put up these posts with the dark uh prismarine slabs on top we're putting in a little outdoor garden there on the side to add a little bit of organic to it if you have a build that is ah look the jungle blocks aren't broken yet and i have add and then said that out of order not supposed to yet haha um but yeah if you have a very structure based like very rigid build add in those organic things like a loose wall ha, broke the blocks did it add all the way let's go um this little organic shape though is able to make it so the build doesn't feel so like rigid and stuck um we're putting in the last little bit of section of the dark oak yeah name it a block correctly let's go i know the wood types ish i can pretend and we're putting all this stuff in. I kind of like just broke it all, went back and put it all in and stuff like that. Just sped up the process a little bit. I highly recommend if you're doing this kind of thing in survival, just like decide what your pattern is going to be and just build it straight away. Don't like build it, break it, build it, break it. Um, add in a little bit of support and fences and stuff like that. Because if this was survival, I'd die on my base almost daily before I get an elytra and maybe even after. But yeah, I really, really do like it. So we're kind of just like going through a little bit, taking a some details getting done but like just look at this it looks good there's the details it is stone brick andesite mossy stone brick and it's in like a random set and i do my scroll technique if you've been a fan of the channel for a while you know what that is but essentially just put in the hot bar scroll the scroll wheel place one scroll again place one just as random as you possibly can did the same thing with here setting this up did a little bit of terraforming so it made a little bit more sense with the nature and natural area because what well, you do that if you're playing and got rid of all the flowers because well this is practical so you know you have this giant giant build you must be pretty far in your survival world so you'd have like a wheat field outside to sustain yourself correct no but i do it's how i live my life let me be i don't i don't remember to get food in this game normally so yeah we added in path blocks i wanted it because like the bright color contrast i think better than just green but i did try to leave some grass in i do think i even um yeah i don't even plant seeds on all of them so that they'll turn back into grass later and it'll look good so all looks good we got torches everywhere so it's lit up we have a bunch of the stone walls in it looks really really good i'm about to be putting in more trap doors i sped up the world to put in the wheat really quick it looks good especially like i mean if you got a good shaders pack mm, it looks good now we're adding leaves leaves add leaves to your builds do it do it oh oh and buttons i added in um i believe that's blackstone buttons just the dark on those edges you don't even know like they're here right now you barely kind of notice it. if i didn't point out you might not have caught it but it adds something when you do notice it, and I think it looks really, really good. So we add that in. We're now going back through changing out some of them for azalea bushes. These are all azalea leaves and azalea flower bushes or whatever. I think it looks really, really good, and it adds a lot to the build, and I just really, really like it. I hope you guys did too. I'm going to be posting these all the time. Next week is a little up in the air. I am out of state, but I hope you guys did enjoy. I really love making these, and I hope you enjoy watching them. If you've got any suggestions, leave them down below, because welcome to Build and Waffle. I build your ideas and waffle on about something else. Good day.